It's Wednesday, November 10th, and for the third time this season, the Taylor football team will be starting practice with a challenge. But this isn't offense versus defense or upperclassmen squaring off with the underclassmen. This is a three-point shooting contest against the TU women's basketball team, who over the past few seasons has ranked as one of the top three-point shooting teams in the country. They're going down. They have no chance. None. The challenges are the idea of head coach Aaron Mingo. The first-year mentor says these challenges have been a part of programs he has worked for in the past. People talk about community a lot. Every program across America preaches it. Schools preach it. Um, but it's we truly want to live in that. And I think Taylor University has the best Christian community um, in the nation. And so we want to immerse ourselves to be a part of that. We don't want to be siloed off as a football program. The first one was actually in the middle of camp, and we didn't see it coming but the girls soccer team was having picture day and they were just hanging around a little too long. And next thing we knew we were in a PK, PK shootout. And uh, that didn't go well. No, no. Thanks, Joe. Yeah! <laughs> that's 100% on Joe Halderman. Yep. <laughs> it was incredible because we were in the middle of camp and it felt like we were lulling. And um, so just to have some inner squad, um, like someone else to compete against, you know, all of camp you're hitting each other. So just to have some sort of competition that wasn't against ourselves was, it was a good time. Challenge number two would come in early September as the football team made the short trek over to Gutekunst Field. Neither team knew what was going on, so I told Maddie to get warm like she was throwing live. She didn't know what she was throwing live for. I said, just get, go in the bullpen, get ready to throw live. And then we see, you know, however many football players, you know, running over to our field. And she goes, Coach, is that what I'm getting live for? I said, Yeah, it is. <laughs> so, and then all the girl, other girls are like, Coach, like, what's going on? I don't know what's going on. So they were super excited for it once they finally realized what we were doing. All right, Coach Bellinger, you guys ready? I'm an all-star back home in the Church League Softball League. It's a slow pitch league. Um, I actually had 10 home runs in our last season. Um, and then I played baseball in high school. So I was like, all right, I can, I can do this. I can hit off a softball player. Uh, we got over there, and uh, Matty Evans was the pitcher. And I was like, oh, this is going to be tough. I got up to the plate. However, <laughs> that also didn't go well. When Coach Mingo brought it to my attention, I said, well, if we're going to embarrass your guys, like, I, I want you to try to challenge my girls and embarrass them if we can. And, and so that's when I said, I think it's, you know, punt return is, is a hard thing to do, so let's go ahead and do that. So what you want to do, as soon as the ball is snapped, you want to look up and you want to make sure that you keep about a 10 yard distance from the ball. The first, I think it was three girls missed the punts and or a couple of them were really close, uh, and and the party was the party was exciting, uh, and then I this is my little claim to fame. Um, I started chanting that the coach needed to do it. I think we have the right athletes playing the right sports, right? Is that correct? Awesome job today, guys. Coach wants a punt. At first, I was like, nope, I'm not embarrassing myself. I'm not doing it. Um, but then they just kept pressuring me, so I had to. And when she went up there to catch it, I didn't really have very much hope. Uh, I thought we were going to just go on to practice and nobody was going to catch a ball, and that would have been that would put us in a pretty bad spot going into practice.
So will Coach Bellinger being a special teams advisor uh, in the future? <laughs> I hope so. I mean, she, she, so like I said, that that is a difficult skill uh, to possess. I don't know if she's had practice before. Maybe she, I told her this was coming up. Obviously, we plan this as coaches and try to surprise our teams. And so maybe she was out getting practice on the, on the side. But, um, you know, she handled it like she's, she's done it before, and it was pretty impressive. Back inside Odell Arena, women's basketball head coach Jody Martinez explains the rules of the shootout to both teams. You need to pick four shooters that will shoot on the three-point line. You need one shooter that can shoot deep. Oh. 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 I think the clean gets a pick on the spot. Contestant gets five shots. A lift for the pressure. Sadly for the football team, they had more misses than makes, losing four to one. Their lone win came from Joe Holderman, the same man who faced those PKs back in training camp. You have a certain message that you oh. have to listen to. It's an encouragement. Yeah. All right. So we're going to hit the space bar. Just listen to it. Yeah, I really want to do a three-point uh, shootout with the girls' basketball team. Um, I might need to get in the gym before that happens. But, I mean, Coach Mingo versus LJ, I don't know. You know, I she's pretty good. But Coach Mingo can kind of – he's a bucket. He's so a bucket. I, a I'd say watch him. Oh, we have a challenge. Oh, he's a bucket. Come on, Coach. Oh. Holder says these challenges have not only brought the football team closer together, but has also inspired them to be at every athletic event they can get to. I mean, it all started with Coach Mingo moving the offices, uh, coming from the field house over to Odell. Uh, and I think that really like set the mindset of we really want to be involved with you guys. We really care about you. Uh, we want to support you. Um, and I know in the past, like, we've all really cared about the other teams and we've all got really good friends on the other teams and we know what it's like to be an athlete on this campus. We know what it's like to uh, wake up in the morning and go to class, then go to chapel, then go to class, and then spend your whole evening practicing. Uh, and so it's really cool to see some of the other teams play and uh, support them. And I know a lot of us, we were talking about different things we're grateful for while we're here at Taylor. And a couple of people mentioned like one of their favorite things to do is go watch the other teams play and go watch the other teams ball out. Because um, you, you really get to know everyone on a personal level on a campus this small. And don't think the challenges are a one-year thing. Mingo says these are definitely sticking around in the years to come. As for the next challenge on his mind. Coach Cam, um, you know, I think, I think it's about time to, to get some golf clubs out and, and go to work. And uh, we'll have maybe a chip challenge out here and, and um, you know, get some of his players also um, doing some football drills. With the Taylor football team, Rick Johnston, Trojan Sports Network.